practice it self check 2.37 loop table slashes so we want to consider the following pattern of the output and it consists of six lines of repeating characters so we have these exclamation marks and these forward and back slashes as well we want to fill in the following equation for the number of each character relative to the line number for each type of character so it's important to remember which line that we're on they're going to suggest that we write a table and list to the numbers of each character on each line and we can help represent this. So I have this screenshotted in my OneNote right here. To represent this, we are going to make a one, a two, three, four, five, and lastly, a line six. So that is how our table is gonna look, or that's how we're going to draw them. Next, we are going to compute the value of A, B, C, and D in the equations below, assuming that the lines are numbered from one through six. So we can find the number of slashes, and then we can find the number of exclamation points with these equations right here. We're gonna solve this for the A and B first. So looking at this, let's use row one. So how many slashes are in row one? Well, there are actually zero here. So zero is gonna be equal to our A times our line. Our line is just one. So we just have A here plus our B. So that's going to be it for our first row. Now let's look at the second row. In the second row, the number of slashes we have is two, the number of backslashes. And it's gonna be equal to A times our line. And our line is two here, so we're gonna have A times two plus B. Now let's solve for this. Let's plug our B into this B. So if we do that from here, what we're going to get is a zero is equal to A plus two minus two A, because if we move this to the other side right here. And so if we move things around, we're gonna get a negative two, a a minus two a is going to be giving us a negative a. So that means a is just equal to two. And then we could plug that in for the first equation right here. So, and we're gonna get that our b is equal to a negative two. Now let's solve for our c and d. So how many exclamation marks are in row six? Let's start out down here because we have less to count than if we were to start with row one. So in row six, we have two is equal to C times our line, which is six plus D. Now let's look at row five. So how many exclamation marks are here? Well, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. So six is gonna be equal to our line number, which is C times five plus our D. Now it's gonna be the same thing. We just plug in for our D. So inside of here, we're gonna get two is equal to a C6 plus the six minus C5. So now that we have all C's in here, we can solve for our C. Moving the six onto the other side, we are going to get a negative four is equal to just a C. So that means C is going to be negative four. And we can plug this back into our equation. So let's plug it back into this one right here. If C is negative four, we're gonna get a six is equal to negative 20 plus D. Moving this over, we are going to get 20 plus six, and that's going to give us a D of 26. So that means the answer for this should be two, negative two, C being negative four, and then 26. So we press submit, we pass four out of four tests, and that's how we go about solving this problem. We're going to keep this in mind when we move to the next problem, which is 2.38 self-check, and that can be in the, found in the description below the like button. Um, we're going to go about solving that. We're going to use this to solve that.